Greetings world, this is Elia Israel, aka Young Chi. And what I'm gonna do in this video is give a brief introduction about the beginnings of Ascension. Now, to start off, if you were to go and search Ascension, you are probably gonna come across something that talks about the Kundalini Serpent Energy. And that's basically getting into the chakra systems, uh, Hinduism, and a little bit of yogic practices in order to be able to activate those chakra centers. Now, the Kundalini Serpent Energy starts off in the root chakra at the base of the spine. If you're not familiar with the chakra system, we have the root chakra right around our pelvis area. We have the sacral right around our stomach, the solar plex, the heart, the throat, the third eye, and the crown. And basically, the goal is to be able to open and activate those chakra centers in order to be able to get a good energy flow for our bodies. And when dealing with the Kundalini Serpent Energy, that's basically dealing with the energy that starts in the root chakra. And the goal is to get it to rise up throughout, the, throughout our body and to shoot out of our crown. So an example is when you look at the medical symbol and you see the pole and the two serpents that's going up that pole, that's basically representation of that, that energy. And in order to be able to begin the process of ascension, we have to be able to practice discipline. And in that, I mean holding on to the sexual energies or the sexual fluids that exist within us. And what I'm going to do is I I'll show a couple of exercises in my, in my later videos. Uh, a little bit about the exercises that I like to do in order to be able to help with that. But one, one exercise that I'll show you now is <clears throat> helping to strengthen the muscles in the perineum, which is the area between the rectum and the genitals, and in the lower abdominal. And basically what you want to do is tighten those muscles so that you'll be able to hold on to your sexual fluids. Even if you're having an orgasm, you'll be able to hold on to that sexual fluid and the energy that exists inside of it. So... I give you a demonstration of the exercise. You may have seen it in like martial arts or something, where the practitioner, you you may see them squatting, and then they do a motion, something like this, and then may bring it up or out the top to the crown. And basically, what's happening is we're pulling that energy up. And imagining to pull the energy up and tightening those muscles in the perineum and the lower abdominal. So I'll show you how I like to do is I like to pretend that I'm reaching down into the earth's core. And then inhaling, as I exhale, I'm reaching down into the earth's core. And then inhaling and pulling that energy up. And as I'm pulling that energy up, I'm tightening the muscles in the perineum and the lower abdominal. And imagining to pull the energy up through the base of the spine, throughout all of the chakra centers, and out the crown chakra, and into our auric field or auric body. So that's that's the exercise. I get a little bit more into it in my next video, uh, but that's one exercise that will definitely be able to help whether you choose to practice having sexual intercourse or practice celibacy, either way it go, that's exercise is definitely good for you to be able to practice. And for the most part, that's about it, really. The beginnings of ascension starts with being able to master our sexual our sexual I guess our sexual desires, holding on to our sexual fluids. And eventually I think um 
the way we start to look at it is going beyond looking at it as sexual energy and just looking at it as energy and power. Because in the process of ascension, we begin activating those chakra centers as we raise up that energy and vibration. And as we raise up that, that energy, <clears throat> we raise, in turn, raise up our vibrations. And the way I like to look at it now is as converting that sexual energy through exercises and different rituals that I get into in my later video. <clears throat> Being able to convert that energy, raise that sexual energy, convert it into power. And that's something that can be used like for fueling our passion, whatever it is we may that we may be trying to do. But the goal is to be able to get that energy to fluctuate, open up the energy centers in our body and get that energy to flow all throughout our physical body, our spiritual body. And it helps with activating the cells. And increasing our bio frequency, and that's one. That's like one of the major goals in dealing with ascension. And I'll get a little bit more into that uh, in, in the next video, where I talk about where I am now and some of the practices and rituals that I practice in order to be able to help maintain that level of self mastery. So that's basically, you know, that's basically all I. All I want to really cover in this video is the the activation of the chakra centers, the opening of the root chakra, raising the kundalini energy up along the base of the spine, all the way up throughout the crown chakra, all throughout our physical body, and activating those cells and, and our spirit. So, you know, kind of like when you hear about artists and music, that's, they, they talk about, you know, turn up. And that's basically what the idea, the principle is, is to activate those cells in our body, activate those chakras, activate our, our energy and our spirit, and turn up, turn up our frequencies and our vibrations. So that's basically all I really want to cover in this video is, you know, that's the, the, that's the beginnings. That's the essential part to be able to begin the ascension process. In the next video, I'll talk a little bit more about where I am and <clears throat> some of the ideas and, and ideologies. But one thing that I will say before I close this video out is to practice thinking big. And that will help because there's a difference between sexual mastery and sexual repression. Because in sexual repression... We may practice abstinence or celibacy for, for an amount of time, but our mind is still fantasizing on sexual desires. So one thing that helps is deep, taking a deep breath and expanding our conscious awareness into the environment, the spiritual force and the connectivity, the spiritual network that, that's all around us. We're constantly surrounded by spirits. And that the the unit the uniting field of energy connecting to it and expanding helps with that se that sexual mastery, which I like to really refer to it as self mastery. And that's that's one level to it. That's the beginning level of the ascension process. So, you know, those are some things that I want to leave you guys with. Um, think big, expand. Turn up those frequency vibrations. Hopefully you guys got something from out of this video and you tune in to the next one. Until next time, peace and be blessed.